Welcome back. Returning to our big story of the day, most of Bertie County continues to sit underwater. WNCT's Jessica Jewell joins us again in Windsor. And Jess, you have North Carolina Transportation Secretary Nick Tennyson with you. That's right, Secretary Tennyson just wrapped up a press conference here, and he's joining me now to assess all this damage. Your team is out here to do a walking tour and talk about what you're seeing here. Now tell me, what's your goal today? Well, our main goal is to make sure that we're in the local area and, and our division is here, and they're the ones actually on the ground doing the work, making sure that we get the roads closed that have to be closed to keep people safe. And then we want to make sure that the people of the area know that we're in this with them, we're, we're trying to make sure that we're delivering safety and good transportation and get this uh, infrastructure back in, in uh, good order as soon as possible. Now, we've talked about all the damage and all the closures happening here, but mm -hmm. this is nothing new to this area. No, I, I think that <laughs> the topography around here and the amount of rain that can fall, it, it's certainly an experience that people have had, and, and it's, it's an inconvenience. We just need to keep it from being a tragedy, and so that's why we're telling people if they see a road that's flooded, don't try to go through it. Don't, don't make a, take a risk that could, you could regret or that, that could cause other people to be harmed, and so that that sort of message, the idea that, that we are trying to make sure that we make this as brief as possible and deal with the challenge that's there, and that we've built the infrastructure to, to withstand it. It's not like uh, it, it melts out in this, and so we're, we're trying to make sure that we deliver that message as clearly as we can. And then moving forward, is there anything that we can do, anything we can put in place to keep from happening, this from happening again? Well, we certainly are analyzing as things change and as, as construction around these areas will change the drainage. We try to make sure that we stay ahead of that. We try to design things so that the flow is, is unhampered. And, you know, we're, we're just going to be making the changes to, as we go along. Well, best of luck. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us, Secretary Tennyson. You will all be doing a walking tour today to assess some more of this damage. Our Zora Stevenson and Allie Weatherton will be joining him on that tour. They'll have more coverage of this coming up tonight on WNCT starting at 5. For now, live in Bertie County, Jessica Jewell, 9 on your side. Thank you so much, Jessica. Now, just to give you an idea at home, the weather's also impacting cell phone signal, which is what Nine on Your Side relies on for our live reporters, which is why those delays are a little bit longer today. And again, you can track the latest conditions and information on emergency management and shelters at WNCT.com.